Hey guys, welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani, thanks for joining me. This is a session all about unique shakers and really interesting items that you can use to create some sort of percussive sound. Some of them are formalized instruments, some of them are found sounds. So let's get right to it. Here's one that is maybe familiar to some of you. This is really interesting. This was developed by a guy from Brazil. I don't know his name, but he took the yogurt, little uh, drinkable yogurt, you know that Yalkut, uh, Yalkut, I think it's Yalkut, Yalkut, Japanese drink, little yogurt drink. You can usually find those in the Asian markets. Well, he took those little uh, bottles and he glued them together and rubber banded them together and painted them. Uh, as you can see, this one is kind of weathered. It's about 25 years old, um, but it sounds great. It's filled with rice and it sounds like this. So it's a very light sound. It's on the brighter side, very gentle, really nice to just add a, a little shaker sound to any track and super lightweight. The only downside of these is they are a little fragile. So you can't really mix them in with anything that's sharp or heavy. Um, they can get smashed and eventually they might just crack. I have one that's a little cracked along the edge and the little rice grains are escaping. But um, nevertheless, really great. This this Actually, this design has been uh, emulated or replicated by several brands since then, but this is from the original cat that developed this. So kudos to him and Yalkut. Um, you can see I've got rubber bands holding it together. Um, these are also modular, you know, so if you wanted to, you could take, take these apart. You can, there's some that are double, some that are triple. You can kind of glue these together, but you could make your own just get some of that Yalkut. It's supposed to be good for you. It's got enzymes and then you can uh, decorate them and, and glue them together. Okay, something related to that in that it's also plastic and gentle sounding is this little guy. This is made from several little egg type shakers that have been glued together um, in a very nice way. And it's got a really gentle sound. Isn't that sweet? Super sweet sound, very controllable. Um, the multiple eggs give you more control and precision rather than having you know one giant shaker, which we're gonna look at in a second, um, which is more crunchy sounding and a little louder and bigger, requires bigger movements. But this one can start there and it can get up to that, which is a really nice medium high sound, um, good percussive action, very controllable, small and cool looking. Okay, our next shaker is a shaka shaker and these were made by a friend of mine, Kerry Green or the Shaker Man, as many of you may know him. These are awesome shakers. They're made from plastic tubes. Uh, I believe he puts shot inside or BBs, different kinds of filling. You can ask him exactly, I think it's a secret. Uh, but they're they're awesome. They're cloth covered, very comfortable. Here's one. I've got two here. I'm gonna play you this one first. This is a little bit darker, a little heavier sound. And just listen to that slap sound, that bap 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 bap. So really percussive, medium sound. Um, it depends on the filling and there are different types of shakers that he makes. Here's another one. So this is slightly smaller, slightly higher pitch, but still uh, I like the Shaker Man shakers or the Shaka shakers because they're great for live situations. They have a good volume, they cut through. Um, you can use them in the studio, but I like them for more live applications. So these are the Shaka shakers. You can check those out online. Then I've got this very special shaker that I had custom made. Sounds like this. Actually, I lied, I didn't have it custom made. Although it is very mathematical. This is an abacus. And uh, you remember these from, I don't know, probably never. Uh, I don't know if anybody uses these, but I like to use it as a percussive instrument. So this would be a found sound. You can get an abacus at your local Chinese market or maybe online, um, but very tight sound as you can hear, 
very percussive, very gentle. This one, very, um, yeah, kind of gentle, high pitched. So that could add a really interesting sound and it's the kind of shaker sound that people might hear and kind of go like, what is that? That sounds like kind of a shaker, but then it doesn't really. Um, anyway, very cool. And you know, you can balance your checkbook with that if you remember how to use an abacus, which I do not. All right, and finally, I wanna show you this. This is very cool. Um, this was made by a gentleman that had a company called Epiphany Percussion. And these also have been um, replicated and brought into mainstream by certain companies. And I'm not sure if they still make these. Um, I'll leave a link below if I can find something on it. I bought this from Bill Saragossa, the, the original maker and owner of Epiphany Percussion, but I'm not sure he's still making these. But I just wanted to show it to you. It has a really interesting sound. So this is two metal uh, concave pieces that have little tiny holes in them. And then inside are some like BBs or shot. And it sounds like this. And that's with a swirling motion. And then you can shake it. Then, because it has this sort of uh, antenna dish on the top, another concave um, dish, you can do some sound effects like this. Move over 70s wah-wah guitar. Okay, and then that's not all. It also has this feature on the dish which allows you to tighten the dish down and listen to the pitch. And now I'm gonna tighten this thing down, give it a little, little turn there. How cool is that? So the tighter it is, the higher pitched it is. It's, I think it's pretty genius. So how awesome is this? So I use these from everything from creating just a, a background, just some like, like some texture, to percussive sounds. And you can, you can grab them as well. Really awesome instrument. All right, so those are your exotic and unusual shakers for this session. If you guys have any questions about these or you wanna to try to get your hands on some, uh, which I recommend, uh, let me know. World Drum Club members can text me or uh, whatever you call it, message me in the World Drum Club uh, message board area, which is at patreon.com slash Kalani. If you're not a supporter or patron of World Drum Club, please, please go there now if you enjoy these videos and become a patron for a buck a, uh, a video or a buck a lesson, you can set a monthly maximum, blah, blah, blah. You guys have heard me say this a million times. All right, go out and enjoy some exotic shakers. All right, thanks for watching.